the 1969 Ford F100 Custom Cab Short Bed. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again, Monster Hobbies model car builders, and welcome back to another amazing unboxing video as we get to take a look at this really awesome 1969 Ford F100 from Mobius. This model kit is really cool. And without further ado, let's check out some of the box tops of this thing, and then we'll take a look at the amazing model. And now we wind the clock all the way back to 1969 as we look at this great Ford F100 Custom Cab short bed from Mobius Models. This is my first ever Mobius Models kit on the show for review. And what's nice is my friend James actually has this model. We're hooking up with our model reviews. What I don't have, he might have, and this and that and the other thing. And we're going to end up doing a really cool review. More reviews from me, anyway. A combined effort. All right, I just dropped my pencil on the floor. But anyway, this is a pretty cool model kit. It's still in the shrink wrap. So I'm gonna open that up. James has given me his full consent to do so. Anyway, uh, as you can see, nice graphics on here. Nice looking truck. This is more of a line drawing. You can see the little cross pencil marks at the back here. It's a very cool artwork. Now turning it up on the edge, you can see, of course, the built model. And just zoom in. The other nice thing about this, this is a fairly new kit. And as you saw in the box, box uh, review at the beginning of this, this kit is actually the same kit as the 71 Ranger, the 69 Ford, 72 Ford, the 70 F100, the 70 Ford F100 Custom Cab 4x4, and the 67 Ford, which we are looking at here. Oh no, sorry, we're not looking at that one. We're looking at 69. <laughs> anyway, that being said, you get this cool looking back three quarter shot here, the interior, the front with chrome bumpers, it says, and a detailed engine bay. And unlike most Ford kits, which come with V8s all over the place, this one has the Ford 240 straight six. So for you guys looking for a highly detailed straight six engine to drop into like maybe a Mustang or something for some uh, obscure Mustang variant back in the day, there's a good motor for you right there. The overhead valve straight six. So zooming back out, let's turn this over. The box end of course looks like the box top. Now here on the side, my camera's being naughty today. <laughs> we have the alternative decals on here. You got a Ford delivery truck, sales parts and service. You can have this on your Ford dealership in the back. In fact, I worked for a Ford dealership and they had a 72 one of these Ford F100s. And uh, this was, of course, in the 90s. And that truck was rough. Every day it was in the shop getting something tuned up on it just so it could drive around the lot barely. But anyway, good looking kit, good looking build for whoever built it. And of course, there's our box back, our side again. So now we can open up James model kit here. <laughs> okay, there it is, James. I'm ripping open the plastic seal. The hermetically sealed kit. All right, this is skill level three, as it says on the box. So this is, of course, for the top end model builder. All right, pardon my mess. Let's take the lid off this thing and release the factory air. All right. Well, first off, I'm seeing some pretty nice goodies right here. The grill, there's no back to it, so it, you can actually see right through, just like you would on the real model on the real truck I mean everything is nice in bags 
so we're not getting scratchy glass. It's even perforated here to keep the red taillights away from the rest of the glass. Exciting to open up a brand new kit. There's a cab, looking nice. Especially Mobius, a company I, I only know for their monster figures, which are top notch. It's nice to see their cars going in here, cars and trucks. There's that six cylinder, interesting subject again. Look at that, just like a real transmission with a separate back on there. Yeah, that, that, okay, we're gonna have fun with the plastic review. Ford wheels with the nubbies on here so that the tires pop in place. So that means solid tires on this. And speak of the devil, there they are, solid tires. Okay, nice. There's more gray parts. Wow, you're building this whole thing up from piece by piece, just like the real factory truck, it looks like. And then there's the bottom bits. Wow, that's nice. And look at this. This is like a Games Workshop model, Warhammer. We get full color instructions. That's what we need, guys, for all of you manufacturers that are watching this. Give us full color. And then finally, decal sheet. It's covered. Let's just keep this to the end. It's our little secret. <laughs> anyway, um, there's our empty box. So let's just clear this out of the way. And let's take a look at the full color instructions in Technicolor. And coming to you live in Technicolor is the Mobius Models 1969 F100 Custom Cab Short Bed Instruction Sheet, sponsored by Model King. <laughs> All right. Boy, this is a treat because if you've watched any of my videos in the past, this, I do believe, is the first and only, so far, color instructions that I've ever received. So here we go in full color, no holds barred, nicety nice instruction sheets. And it says important read this first before assembling your models. Study pictures carefully and blah, blah, blah. So let's carry on. Now, anyway, <laughs> painting your model, all these nice, nice uh, details here on how to do it all. How to do it all. Okay, opening this up, look at this. Wow, this is gonna just blow your mind because I'm already got my mind blown. It's hanging out of my head here. Uh, I am starting to lose a uh, sense. Okay, anyway, let's zoom in on these panels. All right, actually, cut back a little bit. So Mobius in here is telling you exactly what you need to do. This is reminiscent of Johan instructions. They used to tell you glue this here and glue that there and all the rest but anyway they also have the picture so coming back in we get to see of course the heavy duty suspension and this is kind of cool because i didn't realize how long ago ford came up with this most of the truck models i've built are post 1969 but there you get your twin i-beams or the what the right twin I-beam axle comes out of, goes across, and it's got the springs. There's all the motor mounts and everything going in there, the steering box, all on this nice square perimeter frame. We're going into our second panel here. Actually, let's get two and three on there. You have your radius arms gluing in onto your frame with of course your front suspension the tie rods and the left radius arm all going in there it says note how the tie rod feeds through holes in radius arms just so you get that okay and then let's just slide this up in here kind of like this all right so there's our frame these are the sway bars and you actually get links in there and then the rear axle is a three-piece affair you got bottom and top and the front cover differential center section going on there. So now our next panel shows the rear springs going on. And you know, this is starting to remind me of the 1953 Ford F100 pickup that I did, which here is a link to it up here. Uh, 
I did that review a long time ago, but this is really looking like the same kind of frame and everything, how it all glues together. So you got your springs going there, you've got your exhaust pipe coming in on this image. And then there's our differential with the springs going in. And then even the, the tire, this whole back section of this frame and everything remind me so much of that 53 pickup. If you uh, go watch that video, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The cover going in there and everything right on the back, just like the same deal. So again, this is really cool for Mobius. Now our next panels here show our wheels going in. And these beauties, they just pop right in. There's no backing plates or anything. So it's a one push uh, assembly, which is very nice. And then moving back down here again, You've got these little uh, disc covers that go on here onto the wheels. Now I don't. Uh, we're going to have to look at the plastic parts. I don't know if these click in or what the deal is. It, you know, for turning, or if the wheels are just glued solid. But anyway, it looks really nice. I mean, I like the full color and everything. And like I say, this totally reminds me of that '53 Ford F100. Of course, they're all in the same family, eh? The Ford trucks. Well, they're Ford trucks, right? <laughs> okay, and here you get your separate hubcaps popping on each of the wheels. So I'm liking this. I think I'll try to bring in Mobius kits. They are a little more money, but looking at the instructions alone, I can see why. Next we have our... This is step three, okay? So we're... <laughs> we're uh, you can see how big these model kit instructions really are and how detailed this kit is if this is only step three. Step three is our engine going together. We get left and right hand sides plus the oil pan. Transmission is proper three piece affair with the beautiful bell housing and right and left hand side box going together. And then it all plugs together here on the engine. James, you are gonna have an awesome model kit here to build my friend. <clears throat> okay, then going up here, we have the motor mounts gluing on. And then our distributor, ignition coil, a fuel pump and filter, the oil filter, and the starter all going on this side of the engine. And then down below here, we've got our fan belt, fan and alternator, and the front engine cover, which should result in a good, at least up to here, part of the engine. Here we have our cylinder or valve cover going on the top, and then the oil filler cap going on top of there. And then we have our intake manifold and exhaust manifold gluing up onto the left-hand side of the engine block. And then when we move our instructions down here, I'm hitting my backboard, that's what that other sound is. Okay, we've got our air cleaner going onto our carburetor, and then there's a heat rise hose that glues under the air cleaner, just like the real thing, and our upper radiator hose. And then, like that AMT 53 Ford pickup truck, the engine drops into the frame right at the front. The drive shaft hooks up to your rear axle, making for a, a beautiful perimeter frame with an excellently designed engine. Now we get into our cab, and here we have the cab, the side glass, the front and rear windows gluing in, separate sun visors, and a rear view mirror, as well as our little radiator with horns left and right. It says, note that the clear window should be inserted through the inside of cab. So it's not gluing onto the outside as shown, but coming up through the inside. Then as we move our instruction sheet down here again, we have the firewall gluing in, the master cylinder right and left for your brakes. Then there's a radiator core support. What is that? Windshield washer bottle, pardon me. A jack going in and a battery and then our hood has of course the hood and two or three pardon me chrome attachments going into it kind of hard to see some of this fine print from where I'm standing okay and then we've got our grill and our headlight lenses gluing in the left and right hand side mirror door handles are separate the gas cap is separate and windshield wipers all separate and here we have a multi-piece interior with separately molded door panels, floor pan, rear wall, cross member, and seat. And the separately molded stuff is always the best because of the high level of detail that you can get in here with your plastic. 
Carrying on with our interior, we have the dashboard, steering column, steering wheel, and then here we have a pedal locator, which glues under the dash, to lock all your different pedals in, and these are all molded separately as well for that high level of detail. Now, getting back to that AMT53 Ford pickup truck, the, it does come with a little CB radio in that kit, which you could use and glue underneath the dash in this kit, since the CB radios were pretty popular in the 60s, late 60s and 70s. Here, of course, we have our cab assembly, and then the interior will lock up under here nice and tight. And here we have the beginning of our truck bed, and these, of course, are our right outer bed walls. And then we've got our inner right and left bed walls going in here, so you build those up separate. Then, again, with the separate molded detail stuff, which gives you the highest level of detail on model kits, you have the floor of your your truck bed, the right and left going in there, the front wall, the inner tailgate, and the outer tailgate. And then, <laughs> all the tail lights glue in, as well as the side marker reflector lights. So again, nice detail and a lot of parts count. And now I've set our camera fully out uh, from being zoomed in, of course. Here we have our entire body and everything going on the frame. So we've got our hood, our cab, our front bumper, the lower radiator hose, and the upper radiator hose. That would all link into your radiator there. Mounting on that beautiful chassis, the rear bumper popping on, and the bed going on there too. Now, as you can see over here, there's some something cool going on. So let's just move the, this instruction sheet over and see what's going on here. Now this is where the money is. This is where the instruction sheets are 100% helpful. You don't have to do a web search trying to figure out what colors were in factory and everything when you have instructions like this. Paint and decals. Look at this full color of the model in here telling you where what's going on, where to put it. Decal instrument panel right there, sir. Decal F100 badge right there. You know, perfect. Excellent. This is what we want. Real license plates that don't say Ford truck, you know, whatever, right? RL236. And this is from Kentucky. And that's a real plate, you know? Perfect. Ford F100 was available in a variety of color schemes, including a number of two-tone combinations. A general list of factory colors appears on the back page. The builder may wish to do research online or refer to vintage Ford automotive brochures for more detailed reference and inspiration. Place decals as indicated. Note that the instrument panel decal is one piece which covers co the corresponding area on the dash. The extreme builder who desires to retain raised details may wish to carefully cut the individual panels from the sheet and adhere them to the proper cavities on the instrument panel. Excellent. Let's see more color stuff. Unfortunately, the only color left on this is the back panel, but it's still very important. This is customized using optional decals here, decals. There's the auto light decal right on the side of the air cleaner. See here, they have the uh, the body and everything all separate. So you can see what colors the model builder painted it in. Of course, the proper Ford blue for the engine, the steel on the transmission, black frame, and then there's your interior as well, just so you get the good reference. And right down here, the paint colors with the actual color chips going in. And that is probably the most important because a lot of us have to figure out what is Marlin Blue versus Harbor Blue or Brittany Blue. Well, here you actually get the real color. And I'm amazed that there's so many colors for these Ford trucks in this year. But of course, keep in mind that some of this would also transfer to Ford cars. It all depends on, you know, which car we're talking about and then even here mobius models has their website and it says this is the president frank winspur the vice president is joanne winspur new product manager is dave metzner and art director is bob plant so you even know who you know the mobius team sitting in here so again 
really cool. And that will complete our look at these amazing Mobius instruction sheets for our 69 Ford F100 custom cab short bed. So after opening the first parts bag, there is actually three parts trees in that bag, so I'm going to review what I'm opening as we open it. So here in the center we have all our engine components for our straight six. A lot of great detail on this. And then here we've got tailgates and bumpers. There's front axle uh, parts, pardon me. And then we've got our wheels here and steering wheel whole bunch of cool things. There's our frame and all the rest. So uh, let's just move these out of the way and we'll go panel by panel. So there we've got our nice frame and there's the uh, front suspension components with the motor mount and the pin there and drive shaft. And this is I think the piece underneath the dashboard for all your pedals to go in. There's a couple little mold marks, but nothing that a little bit of sandpaper couldn't take out. Like, these are minor compared to some of the other kits I've reviewed on this series. Anyway, there's that component. Now, looking at the engine parts, this is really cool. Look at all this. This looks like the real Ford straight six. It's amazing stuff. Uh, there's our, our um, transmission with the little linkages in there, the front engine cover, the oil pan radiator <laughs> the intake and exhaust manifolds look at that nice transmission right on the hump there that the bell housing there you go <laughs> that's got all the raised ribs and everything in there just like the real thing look at that awesome valve cover it even has ford written in it amazing the exhaust pipe with big muffler and uh, alternator and all the distributors and the goodies that make it run there's a coil starter all kinds of great stuff. Oh wait, that's a starter. That's something else. Probably the generator. So yeah, lots of cool things there. Generator with an alternator in it. Okay, I don't know what that part is. <laughs> There's our first on race day Ford back end in the tailgate. Again, nice detail on this. I'm gonna have to pick one of these up. Thanks to James for letting me borrow this for the review. Looks great. Okay. Maybe I'll just build his. Ha ha ha. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, okay, so all in all, excellent parts in that first bag. Let's open up another one. The next bag contained two complete parts trees. And here, of course, we can see that we've got more of the suspension components. There's our sun visors there. Uh, here we have our rear axle, the two pieces, as well as a bunch of little bits under the hood. There's the front of the transmission here. Or the rear axle, pardon me. And the wheels. I'm excited. I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Brake boosters, master cylinders. There's the pedals for the floor. Our nice dashboard here. Uh, part of the box. And then the firewall and some more Ford bits. That's under the hood. I think that's our hood catch. So let's just move this one out of the way and take a look at up here. Again, a lot of nice detail part. Love that battery. Looks like a big heavy duty. A couple of mold marks up under here. I do believe this is going into the roof, so you won't see those. So again, molded in the right spots. Separate rear springs. Very nice. That is the spare tire, I think. It's got the deep hole in here. It's a little bit of black paint. Actually, it's hard to tell. <laughs> okay, but anyway, I mean, look at the nice detail on there. This thing looks like it's supposed to look. Getting our other parts tree out, you can see our instrument panel here. This would be the kind that had the... Either the needle ran across, like, long ways. Or uh, rotated out like this. Or went across this way. As some of them did back in the day. And this great big dashboard on this thing. Bigger than some, or longer than some of the car models I've done. So again, quite nice detail. It's monogram mold mark back here. Uh, logo and identification. There are some mold marks, but again, shouldn't be too hard to either sand down or fill. 
Again, very awesome looking. I mean, there's no flash on any of these, so that's always nice. The next bag in the kit had four complete parts trees, of course being the body panels and the interior components. So here we've got our Ford hood, we've got the back panel behind the seats in the cab, we've got the floor for the cab, and then here's our liners for in our bed here, the fender wells, and then the sides, as well as our nice bench seat there, and the separately molded door panels. And these have nice long slots in them for things like the back panel and the dashboard and whatnot to hook into. So again, very nice. So let's move these out of the way and examine them a little more closely up to the camera. One thing I love about separately molded side panels is of course the great detail, like the window cranks and all the rest that goes in these. Bench seat is very nice again. Turning it over, a couple of mold marks, but again, not much problem. And like I said, you know, no flash. So again, benefits of a new mold. And of course there's our box bed and the box inners underneath. Oh, a little slap of flash there. <laughs> a couple of sink holes. I don't know if those might be for location or they could just be sink holes again. Quite a few mold marks under here, but I don't think you see these. I think those are up against the fenders. So again, quite nice there. There's the side of our box. Got a bit of texture going up there. Or is that just... I don't know. No, that's just how the plastic is. Okay, so there we go. Again, easy mounting on those inners. Yeah, so all these mold marks get hidden up under there. Very nice again. And then there we've got our hood and our floor pan and the inner for the inside the truck bed. Looks to be correct. Underneath you got some hood bracing, some old sink marks and whatnot again. This will be covered by the bench seat. But again, it looks quite accurate to what these Ford trucks are in real life. So again, very nicely done. Very cool model kit. Should be a joy to build. Finally, we have our truck cab. And this is a beautiful thing. I mean, look at the crisp, crisp casting on here. You got the molding along the bottom and then right in there, the door latch on the on the door panel and then of course holes for our door handles. There's a little line right here that's accurate to the roof when they actually make this panel separate and then they dwelled in here and put a little stuff in between. Got the ribs in the back, the stuff no one sees of course but it's good to have it there for authenticity. Quite a few mold marks underneath in the roof panel as you can see there, and in our inner fenders. But again, you know, number 16 Hobby Blades, your friend here. Boy, it looks terrific. Next up, we have my favorite part of all the model kits, and this is the Chrome. Now, this is a stock truck, so there isn't really too many options, other than, like, the higher mirrors and that kind of thing. However, what is here it looks great. The Chrome is a nice finish on it. You got your dog dish hubcaps, uh, rear view mirror, bunch of the details for the body, windshield wipers, trim for the hood, then there's the rear bumper and our front grill, and all kinds of golden goodness. Actually, this could be the front bumper, not fully sure. <laughs> However, it's there, it looks great. <laughs> okay, bringing this up to the camera. Again, excellent work. Uh, a couple mold marks in behind here, but uh, you, when you glue them on the bumper horns, you're not going to see it. Unless you're hunting for these things. There's our little dog dish hubcaps there. Get a shadow in there, I don't know. You can see the uh, Ford emblems and everything. Looks good, looks like the real thing. I've got some of these somewhere around the house. <laughs> and then, 
our grill and this is the best of the best cream of the crop you got to get rid of these little pegs here but this grill as you can see is hollow in the back so that's just like the real Ford when you paint in behind you know do a little blackout behind the grill you'll be able to see in through that opening so very well done on behalf of Mobius next up we have our glass components and what's nice about this is the windshield is actually sunken in actually all the all the glasses it's just enough to lock it into the body you'll still need glue in there we got our headlights as well the no draft glass windows and our rear windshield as well as the two red tail lights so I won't bring everything up in here but I will bring this along see what I mean it's got that nice channel whoops right into the glass there so you can get a bit of glue on there without smearing up into your window and then the window will fit nice and tight against the body instead of being uh, having a gap there like on some of the earlier vintage kits that I've reviewed on the channel and here we have five tires from Mobius and this is basically the same as the 53 Ford F-150 from AMT that I reviewed I'd basically call this the updated F-150 from 2015 that's when this kit came out but boy these tires are amazing you can see they're generic they don't have any name brand but the tread on this is really great looks like real vintage truck tires it's amazing stuff finally we have our decal sheet and I was going to keep it a surprise until now so let's just move up the white paper and look at that you get four different Fords for the tailgate and then you get these nice blue ovals that say Burkett Ford sales parts and service these are for the doors you also have Frank uh, Fast Frank's Speed Shop as well as these license plates from New Jersey these ones from Kentucky and then all these specialty plates from California the kind I don't really like because they say 69 Ford or F100 there's pick them up old truck but so you can only use these decals for either a 69 Ford or an old pickup truck but these ones they're very nice because they're universal and then here we also have our dashboard and then those are the little truck emblems on the side there's our auto light for the air cleaner so again very nice decal sheet from an excellent company and that completes our look at the 1969 Ford F100 custom cab short bed by Mobius Models Model King and if you've built this great kit let's see your photographs of it over on our Monster Hobbies Facebook page well, I really hope you enjoyed that amazing unboxing video of our 1969 Ford F100. And I've got a special thank you for our friend James, who's loaning me a bunch of his models to review, to add to my collection of what's in the boxes, so that we have a really broad, awesome history of all these great model kits and everything, and you get to see exactly what's in here. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to this channel. Also, check out our available model kits. We're going to be adding some more coming up soon at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.